Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cash stuffing video. I'm going to be stuffing cash for the first two weeks in July and also later on in the video I will be announcing the winner of my 500 subscriber giveaway. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around and make sure you like, comment and if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot and let's get on with it. So in today's video, I am going to be cash stuffing 480 pounds. So let's just count it out. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 410, 415, 20, 425 and 430 and 480. <clears throat> so, it's the 1st of July and I can't quite believe that we're in the second half of the year already. Like, where has the time gone, honestly? Um, it's crazy. And um, everyone who's commented on my last subscriber giveaway video, thank you so much. I can't quite believe that I'm at 500 plus subscribers on YouTube. I never, ever thought that I would have even one or two people who wanted to like, you know, listen to me and follow my savings journey and my budgeting journey. So listen, thank you so much uh, again from the bottom of my heart for everyone who has subscribed so far. Um, okay, so next job is to see what I've got left over from the last two weeks. Okay, so bringing in my um, weekly cash wallet. Uh, this is what I use to take around with me. And let's just go ahead and see what I've got left over. Um, I have made a recent purchase from Ira, which I'll show you shortly, but I thought I would stick that little sticker there because I love it. Um, okay, so groceries, uh, we have got left 10 pounds in here, um, which I might roll that over again into either groceries or spending because I've got a bit of a busy couple of weeks coming up, but I'll just stick it in there for now and see how we get on. Um, and then in coins from groceries, I have, I don't know, about five or so pounds there. Okay, and let's see what else we've got. We've got nothing in fuel, nothing in nails. Um, they're doing all right. The heart is slowly traveling north, but it still doesn't look too bad, I don't think. <clears throat> um, eating out has a few pounds. And then spending also has a little bit of money. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take out the coins and leave that five in there. Um, yeah, okay then, so let's go ahead and restuff our cash wallets. So groceries for the next two weeks is gonna get 100 pounds. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, I get paid on the 15th of July, which is a Friday, and that's the day that I go to Paris uh, with my sisters. So I won't be able to film another stuffing until I come back from that, but I'm only there like two nights. Um, fuel, um, I don't normally stuff it in the second half of my pay, but I am running really low, so I'm gonna give it 20 pounds. And then nails, I am getting them done um, next week. Um, next Wednesday, I think I'm getting done and I'm not sure what I want yet, but um, it's going to get 35 pounds. So 20, 35 pounds. So that's nails all ready to go. Um, eating out, I'm going to give it 20 pounds. <clears throat> So that's that one. And then spending, I'm going to add another 35. So 20, 30, and five, which means in spending, I've got 20, 30, 35, and 40. I'm going to like a mini festival with my friends, um, like old school um, 90s bands. I say bands, not bands at all, like um, disco sort of bands, like Two Unlimited and people like that. So <laughs> yeah, hopefully that'll be good. All right then, so that is my cash wallets all fully stuffed. So next up, we're moving on to my short-term sinking funds. First category here is hair and beauty. 
Um, I have taken out some money from here recently. I took out some money to buy some sun cream and the um, face wash from Aldi. It's like the Liz Earl dupe of the hot cloth, cloth cleanser. Um, I bought that and then I also bought um, some new makeup from Charlotte Tilbury. I bought an eyebrow pencil and the face powder. So it's been depleted probably by about 60 or 70 quid. Um, but today I'm going to add 20 pounds. So we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60 and 70 in hair and beauty. My hair appointment is next Saturday and it's absolutely desperate. <laughs> Um, clothes, I'm going to be adding 10 pounds. So clothes now has 10, 20 and 30. Book still has 10 and I'm get, it's getting skipped. <clears throat> Home is going to get 10 pounds. So in home I now have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 and 60. I still need to buy some new cushions for my sofa. Hopefully I will soon. Um, garden isn't getting anything added to it and it's got 20 pounds. And gifts, I'm going to be adding 20 pounds. So gifts now has 30. Okay, so that is it for my short term sinking funds. Next up we have my long term sinking funds. First category here is insurance, car and home insurance due in September, and I'm going to be adding 20 pounds. So in insurance, I now have 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So 370 pounds in insurance. And car tax, I'm going to be adding 10 pounds. So in car tax, I now have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 115, which is good. I think, that, I think it'll, they'll put it up this year and it'll be about 170 quid. Um, and that'll be due in December for me. Kingston, which is my property maintenance company for the estate is getting five pounds. So I now have 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 pounds in Kingston. Christmas, I'm going to be adding 20 pounds. So I now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, and 40 in Christmas. So I'm nearly halfway to my target of 300. Now, this is my new envelope from Ira. So um, I mentioned in my last video that the destination I want to go to in September is um, Bali. Um, and it's a guided tour. It looks unbelievable. And this, um, this envelope here is for me to save up for uh, my spending money and also some new clothes um, to go alongside that. I have just ordered some clothes. So I'm going to stuff it today, but I'll probably unstuff it at some point, like off camera, to take out what I've actually spent in the last few days. Um, but what I thought I would get is a new envelope from Ira, which basically um, is like a picture, obviously, <laughs> of Bali. But what I thought it would be nice, it's on both sides as well, is um, once I've like done this trip, then I can keep this as a bit of a momentum, um, a memento to show, um, yeah, the destination that I've been. And then the next destination I want to go to, I'll get a new um, envelope and it'll be another picture of the place I want to go to. So these are available on his shop where you can pick a photograph to be um, part of the envelope and people have chosen like family members, pets and things like that. But I thought it would be nice just to have it as my holiday destination. So Bali today is going to get <clears throat> 50 pounds. And so we now have 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500. 5, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700. 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 900. <clears throat> so I've got 900 pounds in there. Um, 
I've bought some new trainers, some yoga kit because there's a morning yoga se session on the trip. Um, what else have I bought? I bought some walking boots because we have to climb a mountain <laughs> at like dawn. I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, and then I think that's about it so far. So I've spent quite a bit of money um, and I'll take that out of that shortly. Okay, and then finally, trip fund. I'm going to be adding £30. So 20 and 30. So I now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150 and 160 in trip fund. That'll probably get used in a couple of weeks for Paris, like I mentioned before. Okay, so that is it for my long-term sinking funds. And now moving on to my savings challenges. I did show in a recent video as well that I've got this new long-term savings binder, which I'm now using um, for various categories, which I'll show you just very quickly. So my emergency fund is fully funded with two £1,000 placeholders in there. And then the next target is um, to get a month ahead, and that for me will be about £2,000. The next one after that would be home improvements, um, and I would like to get my loft boarded out. And then finally, it's a mortgage fund, because I would like to start overpaying on my mortgage when I do eventually get enough money. So any savings challenges that I've got, the long-term goals for them are going to be um, within this binder here. <clears throat> so that's that new binder. So the first savings challenge I'm gonna do is my own um, 1K savings challenge. By the time this video goes out, my Etsy shop will be reopened after a very brief holiday. Um, and the available binders is gonna be this candy floss edition, and then probably one of the um, sort of wizard <laughs> style, shall we say, uh, the, the serpent and the lion edition. The 1k that I made that'll go up in my shop as well. Um, so yeah, they'll be they'll be available to purchase. So um, <clears throat> yeah, the first um, savings challenge here, like I say, is my 1k savings challenge. And oh, I'll just bring in my pen. Okay, so before I complete that challenge, these are the binders that I'm referring to that I made. So this is the Lion Edition. I've just redesigned the front cover to make these uh, lightning bolts a little bit bigger. Um, but basically it's the same premise as my other savings challenges, but it's got different colors, different font and different colored vinyl. Um, and it's got a line on the back cover. So that is the lion edition. And then the next one here is what I'm calling the serpent edition. And it's got green vinyl on the front. I'm thinking of changing it to silver if people do want, or people, if people are interested in this, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should it be green or should it be silver on the front? Um, yeah, and then again, same premise, it's got the front cover, it's got the tracker, and then these numbers here are green, and then it's got a serpent on the back cover. So those two there that I've just shown you <clears throat> will be available on my shop when this video goes out. Um, so let's get on and stuff this. Today I'm going to be adding £40, so 20 and 40 So let's just go ahead and find... The 40. Oh, there it is. That was easy. Okay. So 40 pounds in its place. And then we can cross off this 40. So the first row is done. Isn't that amazing? So when this is complete, this is like I say, I'll go ahead um, and help towards my sort of long term savings goals. Okay, so moving on to my savings challenge binder. The first one in here is my rainy day fund and today I'm going to be adding £20. So we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75 and 80 pounds. So 180 in rainy day. Um, the purpose of this one, I think I've said earlier, is to hopefully buy a new um, iPhone uh whenever i get two thousand pounds okay so that's my rainy day fund the next one is my energy fund for rising energy costs and today i'm going to be adding 10 pounds so we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 pounds now in energy fund i'm just going to keep stuffing this and then when the winter comes you know if i've got a short fall then at least I've saved up some money. <clears throat> so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
So £10 in my energy fund. Then we've got my £5 challenge and that is going to get £5. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. So that is that one. I don't know why I started doing like pink then blue. No idea. Right, so that's the five challenge. The next one is a new one. If anyone didn't see my last video, it is a Zodiac challenge. I'm a Leo, my birthday is in exactly one month's time. Um, and I'm using this to save up for a new Apple Watch because um, mine is about six years old and it's dead. Um, so I'm not gonna stuff it today. I stuffed 20, no I didn't. I stuffed 50 pounds in my last video, but I'm gonna skip it today. Um, and then the next one I have here is the My Money Matters This Little Piggy Saved 55 Challenge. I've got this loose because I'm actually going to laminate it. Um, or am I? Because I've already ticked it off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to be giving it, I'm boring myself. I'm going to be giving it um, Let's give it three pounds. One, oops, two three okay so a two and a one okay so that is that and let's just put it back in here I might not laminate it she's thinking of opening a shop Esther if you're watching you need to <laughs> Um, and in which case I'll buy another one um, and, and either laminate myself or ask for it to be laminated if that's what she's going to do. Um, okay, so that's that one. Now, before I move on to the penny challenge, I've got £10 here, haven't I? And I'm just wondering what to do with it. Um, I think to be safe, because like I say, it is a busy time. I'm going to stick it in um, eating out. And hopefully that'll give me enough um, for that. Okay, so it's next time for the penny challenge, so I'll bring in my jars. Okay, everyone, so again, I've counted this out and we have £10 and four pence. So I'm just going <coughs> to... Right then, so £10 and four pence, so we can do the first one, which is £3.53. And we can do three pounds fifty two. And then we've got two pounds ninety nine, which shouldn't be taken. So where is it? There it is there. Okay, so that is our penny challenge done. It is a really slow burner, and I know some people don't like them doing them for themselves. Um, but I don't know what else I would do with my coins, so <laughs> I'm sticking with it. Okay, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is the giveaway winner. Okay, so thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, for my giveaway, I said I would give away one of these savings binders and that the person who won could choose between the Candy Floss Edition, the Lion Edition, or the Serpent Edition. Um, and yeah, whoever wins, um, I'll give details of how to get in touch with me and then we can decide which one you want. All right then, so let's get on with it. So again, I'm using this commentpicker.com. I've already put in the URL of um, the video in question, which was the subscriber giveaway. Again, I'm gonna filter duplicate users. I'm gonna include replies to comments. I'm not going to exclude anyone because this time I didn't comment. I've just liked or loved the comments. So hopefully that doesn't, <laughs> I don't think that includes me, but we'll find out. Um, and then eight plus four is 12. Okay. So the number of unique comments we have is 60. Um, and then if we just go along here and we'll start the draw. So Budget Me Right has won. And she or he <laughs> said, I think she, um, I am dreaming of watching the Northern Lights since I was a kid. Next year, I plan to visit Iceland. And if I'm lucky, I will finally see this amazing phenom phenomenon. 
<laughs> I am so happy for your channel. Oh, thank you so much. Um, honestly, the Northern Light is definitely um, something that I would love to go and see as well. Someone else commented Svalbard and I've had a fascination with Svalbard myself for quite some time. Um, so yeah, that would be amazing. It's so um, risky though, isn't it? If you go and it's cloudy, imagine, oh God. Well, if you do get there, I hope that it's clear skies for you and the sun has just released a load of solar flares so that you can see some amaz amazing skies. Um, so if you can email me please at um, budgetsiris at gmail.com, budgetsiris at gmail.com. Let me know um, which of these three binders you would like, <clears throat> either candy floss, lion or serpent, but also the target amount that you would like. So you can buy, oh sorry, you can have one of these binders in either a 1K, a 2K, a 3K or a 5K target amount. If you're not sure what those denominations look like, my shop should be live again by the time you, you view this. So have a look, and if you look on the Candy Floss edition, it'll show you what the denominations on the tracker um, look like in the different target amounts. So have a look on that, pick which one you would like, let me know, um, yeah, and I'll get one of these binders out to you. So congratulations. Okay, everyone, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so, for, so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.